Well, a big hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in Walton on the Nays and I've come to meet Owen, who runs Essex by the Sea. Now, I've been invited with Yana to film a podcast in regards to HM Coast Guard and their 200th anniversary with... <laughs> Is Yana peeking behind me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which happened on the 15th of January 2022. Now, my five times go grandfather and Yana's sixth was one of the UK's very first ever Coast Guards. So that's the reason why I've been invited here to join Owen in his podcast to learn a little more about the history of this incredible man. And here's a snippet from his podcast and I hope you enjoy it. Hello and welcome to this episode of Essex by the Sea. I'm Owen Ward, exploring the Essex coast, finding out about the amazing and interesting stories it has to offer. Don't forget, Essex by the Sea is now available on your smart speakers just to, to play Essex by the Sea podcast. 2022 marks the 200th anniversary of Her Majesty's Coast Guard, and one of the country's first was based right here on the Essex coast. For this episode, I'm in Walton on the Nays, and joining me, Stephen Robert Cooter, who is a descendant that very person thanks very much for joining me hi owen you okay good thank you now who exactly was your relative uh, my relative was jonathan webb he was born in 1792 in yarmouth on the isle of wight and his family were based around the island for quite a few generations back and he began his career as a preventative water guard before the formation of HM Coast Guard in 1822. And he was one of the England's very first ever Coast Guards. And of course, 200 years ago, you know, we've got the r and airline now, so they've got modern equipment, modern boats. I'm guessing back then it would have been rowing boats or would, sailing boats. Oh yeah, it would have been rowing boats for sure. It, it would have been quite hard slog, I can imagine. Tough times, I think. At the time, I wasn't aware of the significance of Walton on the Nays with, with my family history. And it wasn't until I started researching. And it's kind of made the location feel a lot more special now. And, and I look at it very differently. Like arriving here in Walton on the Nays today, I came in by train. And I saw the Martello Tower in the distance. And the Martello Tower is where he resided with, with his family and his children. And just seeing it and knowing that my family lived there it's quite incredible really and there are monuments to, to the people who who protected the coastline and helped save lives around here in in walton but obviously the martello towers stood in walton for decades and uh, i believe that jonathan is actually also buried here in the town he is he's buried over at the um, church which is saint andrew's church He's buried there with his wife and his infant son. Sadly, his grave doesn't exist anymore. And, and they've built a road right through where the cemetery was, which is a shame. So it's quite likely that he could actually be buried underneath the road, which is, is, is a crying shame, really. With the Martello Tower, it was, it's extremely cold and very damp in there. And the conditions of, of living there must have been ghastly. The, the dates continue from, from the records because he then came back to Walton, is yeah, that right? Yeah, so he, 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 he was back here in Walton from 1842 and, until his, his death. And he, his wife's family were actually involved with the Royal Navy. His wife, Jane, her first cousin, fought at the Battle of Copenhagen in 1801. This was during the French Revolutionary Wars and he was on board a ship called HMS Saturn and her second cousin fought at the Battle of Trafalgar and he was on board HMS Victory. So Jonathan Webb was a Coast Guard in total for 50 years. That's quite some service as well. That is, that's a, that's a very long time and he was admired at the very end of his life so he was admirated in 1860 so he was invited to London and he was very proud of that because in the 1861 census he actually recorded his occupation as a super admirated coast guard so he must have been a very proud man 
Jonathan's story obviously would be one of, of hundreds then from the, the, the ancestors that you've researched. Were you surprised by quite how significant uh, Jonathan's story was? I was very surprised. I certainly wasn't expecting a Coast Guard in my family tree. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure what I was expecting when I first started researching. I, I didn't think I'd find much more than probably agricultural labourers. I mean, how easy was it to find uh, Jonathan's history out? Has, has the access to the records on the internet made it a lot easier from when you first started all those years ago? When I first started, the internet was still in its very early stages because we're looking at the 1990s here. So um, there, there were things on the internet, but um, it was quite sparse. So... My research began in the record offices, like the Essex Record Office or or even the National Archives. And the National Archives has an incredible collection of Coast Guard records. So you can actually download Coast Guard. If if there's anyone out there who has connections with HM Coast Guard and they want to research their own connection, then definitely check out out the National Archives because um, your ancestors' records are going to be recorded with them. And... It shows their movements and all of the stations where they um, were listed over, over their career. As you say, we are here in Walton, just alongside the pier. The sun is shining. The sea looks relatively calm today, very idyllic, with the golden beaches just in front of us. The weather, of course, isn't always quite like that here in Walton, and I'm sure uh, that Jonathan Webb and all of the Coast Guard and Arwen and I life boat crews uh, have experienced slightly rougher seas than we have today. You've posted a, a video on YouTube, as I say, the link is uh, in the description. What's been the response? from from the followers on there um i i I, i've had an amazing response actually from the video um i've been interviewed by bbc essex an article went into the um daily gazette for colchester and and i'm now here with owen (laughs) do you mean i'm I'm doing a podcast about his life so i i'm i'm really pleased that i've i've managed to record his life in such a way to be honest with you because because those records are going to be left there for generations to come well Stephen thank you very much for joining me here on Essex by the Sea you're very welcome and and I've enjoyed it thank you don't forget you can follow Essex by the Sea on social media you can like us uh, on Twitter you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as well so uh, until next time from Walton on the Nays thanks very much for listening Big hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a little bit shorter than usual because here in Walton on Lays I met up with Owen from Essex by the Sea and he invited me down here on the coast to, to do he invited me down here on the coast to do a podcast for his I'll film it later.